What is up everybody? This is Jake back again with another video and today I'm super excited because today is the August Sketchbox. So I can't wait. Uh, July's was great. Um, it was... Sketchbox is awesome so far. I've loved everything about it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just dig into this one. Um, oh yeah, I went ahead and blacked out all my information because the last time I had to blur it out which took way too long. I just want to protect myself from you psychos. All 32 of my rabid subscribers. But uh, let's go ahead and get this popped open and see what's in it. I cannot say that word. Hanamula? Hanamula? Mula? I don't know. What is this? Is this a velour? Oh, velour. Okay. A sample kit. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Let's go. Let's pull everything out before I start opening stuff. Oh, there's some sandpaper. I'm assuming that's for sharpening pencils, possibly. Let's, uh... There's some... Oh, okay. Some palette knives. Oh, with the little foam th I guess that's for oh for blending okay as you can tell I don't I don't have extensive knowledge on a lot of things oh am I supposed to be missing a pastel uh, crayon here once again the uh, the box art is super cool this is by Stacy Rosin at night nurse art ooh I like the name night nurse that's cool it seems I'm needed elsewhere Oh, this is going to be a weird one for me, guys. This is uh, this is great. So it's going to be pastel, which I do not use pastels. Uh, I've used them once. Uh, I used them once in college, uh, in my drawing class, and that's literally the only time I've used them. So this is going to be uh, very unique. Uh, I assume this is what was drawn with that. It seems like every time they include a uh, include a artist card, it looks like it's uh, drawn with the product. So the last one was used with all those uh, those brown tones and stuff. All right. Now this is cool. So, okay. All right. So let's right now let's check out the prices on it. Okay. So it is only supposed to be two. They have a third little spot here. So that's that's fine. Uh, look at the white and black pencil. This is gonna be neat. It's gonna be weird. This is gonna be. Uh, I don't know how much I can do with this because I'm I'm not good at this. <laughs> so we'll we'll see how it works out. Sanded pastel paper. Oh, I don't. I didn't actually get, huh? So I didn't actually get the pastel paper. I got. I think I'm missing something. So there's the velour, velour sample set. Uh, there's the earth tones. There's the two. Here's the two. Here's the blenders. Oh, that's what this is. I thought this was just sandpaper. I am an idiot. Okay, cool. So this is what. That's what this is. They give you a couple sheets of this, which it is just sandpaper. But is this is meant for. Uh, another type of pastel paper for you to try. This one has 400 sand grit. Catch a powdery pastel pigment. Okay, drawing on sandpaper. I've never imagined that. Well, so far I'm pretty excited. Um, I've, like I said, never used pastel, so this is probably going to be a nightmare. But we're going to uh, go ahead and get started. See what I can come up with, and then I'll let you know what I think of the products after I'm done. All right, see you guys in a minute.
Okay, so that was really fun. Um, I've never used pastel pencils um, or the pastel, the soft pastel crayons. These are awesome. They're a mess, um, mainly because I'm a mess. I'm perpetually, you know, a mess. So uh, I've got it all over me. I have it all over my uh, my mat here, which is fine. Battle scars, no, no problem. Um, so overall, what did I think? Man, it's kind of made me a really big fan of soft pastel crayons, to be honest. These were were a blast. These right here were excellent. Um, these Rembrandt Earth Tone ones. Um, I looked up, and on the card they gave you, they say that, um, I don't know how to pronounce any of these words just about, but schminke, schminky, schmink. Um, these soft pastel pencils apparently are like the highest quality is what they're saying. I like the Rembrandt ones way more. I think these are these are more solid. Um, they're not as chalky as these are. Now, that might be the whole point of it. I'm very ignorant when it comes to um, soft pastel pencils. Or soft pastel crayons, I should say. Or just soft pastels. That's what they're actually called. So let me just call them what they're actually called so I can stop showing my ignorance. Um, so, I like the Rembrandt better. It's, it's a much cheaper brand. I mean, it was... They suggested $7.60 for two of these, um, which, I mean, that's a lot. This right here, I mean, you get 10 These are about 2 bucks each. So the Rembrandt ones were great. Blending that background was super fun to me. Um, I didn't know how it was going to work. As soon as I pulled this out, this is essentially, it feels like velvet, the lore does. Um, but as soon as I pulled this out, I was very hesitant. I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. And I was, I was nervous doing this because I thought it was going to turn out like trash. But man, I really like how this turned out. I... The one thing I didn't like, you can't get a lot of detail. Um, I mean, that's to be expected. Look at the big fat ends on these. I mean, there's really no way to get a point. Which, that may be... Even the, the art they put with it, that's not very highly detailed. Uh, it's well blended, though. So, I'm thinking that maybe that's just the point of pastels. I don't know. Uh, I think if I could find some pastel pencils that were, like, soft, and then I could get that kind of blend, but also get a point with it, that would be amazing. But... That would probably be a nightmare to try to sharpen those. Um, I did not like this, the white pencil here. The, I don't even want to try to pronounce it. Uh, it was a Karen Diache, Karen Diache um, pastel pencil. Um, it did not go over the, uh, the soft pastel at all. I couldn't, you can see where I, I mean, I, I dug into that to try to really get a, a white highlight and I just couldn't do it. So I ended up highlighting with this, which turned out pretty cool, I thought. Um, this black pencil, though, uh, this turned out really well. I like this a lot. Uh, what is? What are these names? Brunzil, Brunzil. I don't know. It's it's a it's a it's from Holland. Um, but it, yeah, this this pastel pencil is really good. It, it wrote really well uh, on this. Uh, sorry, it drew really well on this on this velour. Um, overall, it's a great little box. These blenders are awesome. I'm gonna buy. I've already got some of these in my cart to buy more for pencil blending, and I'm gonna buy some more pastels. Um, so yeah, this is already, uh, making me spend more money. So thanks, Sketchbox. I appreciate that. So price-wise, let's go over that. Um, I'll go ahead and lay everything out here. Let me move my picture. Ugh, it's made a mess. Look at all that. Um, anyways, so for the price on everything, once again, Sketchbox kills it. They do a great job. They, they undervalue themselves and they give you a lot more than $40 worth. This one is actually worth way more than the first box I got. Um, so their total value on everything is for, for everything you see here. Um, well, not everything you see here. This actually came with eight pieces of sample velour um, and it came with two pieces of uh, sanded pastel paper, which is just 400 grit sandpaper, but that's fine. Their estimated value is $46.45. I went on Amazon, uh, between Amazon and um, another website that had the that had the velour paper on it to get the prices. And the cheapest I could find totaled up to be $68.51. That's almost $30 I've saved by getting this Sketchbox. So, once again, thumbs up to Sketchbox for being awesome. Uh, Value-wise, it was great. Um, product wise was fun. It was, and I, I love it because I'm actually doing what I set out to do when I started ordering Sketchbox and that was to get pushed out of my comfort zone. To do something I don't normally do. I have never used pastels. I, like I said, once in college, I used the really soft oily pastels and I hated them. These dry pastels are excellent. I think they're, they're a blast. I'm going to buy some, I'm going to buy some of these and start doing some more, uh, more stuff. I never thought in my entire life I would love using 
pastels on velour, it is not my medium at all. But I'm loving it. So I'm just super happy. I get to ex I'm I'm getting to experience new new mediums. I'm getting to use them, and I'm enjoying it. Like I, I really like how this turned out. Oh no, I got some white on there or some yellow on there. That's fine. We'll blend out. Um, but I really enjoy how everything's turned out so far. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, I would so far. Sketchbox is two for two. I would recommend Sketchbox. Get it. It's awesome. The premium box is what I've been getting. I haven't gotten the basic box, so I can't speak for that. But as for the premium box, it has been top notch. Both times, it's you've gotten more than you spent. And it's a good array of products, and they're all um, tailored to that box. So all of these work really well together. I mean, these good earth tones go awesome with this light blue and this light yellow. Um, white pencil, I could do without it. Whatever. Um, but the... But the the the, uh, the black pencil here goes really well with it. You're able to highlight, or able to the shadow and kind of define it a little better. Once again, they they overvalued themselves, which is awesome, or undervalued themselves. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I would suggest it. So order Sketchbox. It's awesome. Um, if I ever, but I'll be honest, if I ever see a bad one, I will let you know. But so far, they're two for two in my book. So, um, be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I would really recommend you do it on this video and comment because when I ordered my Sketchbox orig originally, I had ordered two by accident. I had two in my cart because I, whatever, it's what I do. So I emailed them and said, hey, I ordered two by accident, can you cancel one? So they did. Well, they ended up sending me a second one anyways. So what I will do for you guys. I was going to send it back, but I thought this would be better. This has helped promote some Sketchbox. I don't need a second box of this, even though I would love to keep it because I love these colors and stuff. If you like, subscribe, and share, and you comment below, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, or if there's any questions you have, let me know. I will randomly draw someone's name out of the comments, and I will send you this Sketchbox for free before my next video. So, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, um, and leave a comment and you can get you a free sketch box. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone. I'm so glad you get to kind of uh, kind of go with me when I'm, I'm trying to experience and grow as an artist uh, different things. So thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.